So let's take a look at uh, jump cuts today and see if we can get the effect that Zach King gets with the uh, paper appearing in his hand and then changing. So we'll take a look here. This is just all one clip. Uh, I just had myself this morning to record this. So we'll find the spot where I start talking. I think it's going to be about there. So I'll mark a temporary endpoint there and play it a little bit. Okay, so that's where I start talking. So I'll back it up to there. Use, just using the arrow keys and then mark that as my endpoint. And we'll play the first little bit until I flick the paper. So we're here today, we're gonna try to do a little bit of art. So I, I, I need a little bit of paper, so I'll... So there's my first flick. So I'll mark that as my O point and put that on my timeline. And we'll do a, a fine cut here. So I'm just gonna scrub over near the end and I'm gonna watch the hand coming forward and just as it starts to come back, that, that will be my out point. So I'm just using the keyboard arrows here to step forward. So here's the hand coming forward and just starting to come back. So I will bring up my blade, B for blade, make a cut there, A for arrow, select that little bit and get rid of it. Okay, and now we need the next part here where I uh, flick the paper. So there you can see I'm getting the piece of paper. So we need it just as the paper starts to come back. So just stepping through, arrow, 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 arrows. So it's going back. So it's gone forward, and it's just starting to come back. So I'll mark that as my endpoint. Let it play a little bit. And I've got my paper now. Uh, but uh, it's a little bit plain, so maybe I could. And there's snap again, so I'll mark that as my out point. Put that on my timeline. Uh, let's see what that looks like here. So, so that's coming forward and just starting to come back. So right about there. So mark that B for blade. We'll cut there. A for arrow. A for arrow. Select that and delete. My computer's got to catch up to me here. Slag in just a little bit. And then we'll find the last clip where I snap the actual picture. So I'll back up there, about there. So stepping forward. Just using the arrows again, so it's snap forward and it's starting to come back. So we'll mark that as our endpoint. Let it play a little bit. Put something on it. And that's it. So I'll mark that as way out. Get it on the timeline. Let's see how that plays. So we're here today we're gonna try to do a little bit of art. So I, I, I need a little bit of paper so I'll, and I've got my paper now. Uh, but uh, it's a little bit plain, so maybe I put something on it. I'm missing the word could there. Okay, so what I'm going to do is move this up a little bit and let a little bit of this play underneath it. I'll back that up. So maybe I could... Okay, so now i just got to... So, I'm overlapping there just so I can hear the word could from the bottom clip. And I've just got to get this coming in at the right spot here. So let's just figure out where that is. So it's forward and then starting to come back. Forward, forward, coming back. So we'll mark, mark the clip there. So I hit M on my keyboard. That puts a little marker on the clip. And the rest of this is just there so we can hear the word could, and then we'll bring the second clip to that marker to so just see how that section plays. So maybe I could put something on it. And there we go. There's our jump, jump cuts. Okay. Uh, so give that a try and uh, see what you can do.